Hey y'all, Justin McKay at Catfish. Well, it's a few minutes before sunrise and I'm getting set up out here on the Tennessee River to do some catfishing this morning. Now on today's trip, I'm gonna be fishing in an area, it's what I call a path. And these type of areas are some of my favorite places to fish on these reservoirs. And that's what the Tennessee River is. It's basically just a series of reservoirs, a TVA long before my time come along and built these dams to control flooding and create a source of electricity. And when they did that, when they built these dams, areas that were above the waterline before were flooded. And so thankfully there were maps that existed back then and now you can look and see where things used to be, such as old creek beds, uh, road beds, railroad tracks, things like that. And I love fishing those type of areas because they create a path for fish to follow. And so what I'm done today here is I have set up in an old creek channel. You know, a lot of these, when you look at the map and you'll see these creek channels, a lot of them you won't be able to find on your graph. They're either, maybe they were a really shallow creek or maybe they've just gotten silted in over time. But if you can find that old original creek channel that led from the shallows out to the old original riverbed, that's money and so what i've done here today is i've set up on one now this particular creek it's not a very uh deep or wide area here you can just while i'm going across it on my graph you can see it the dip down and then it comes back up and it's it's like a four foot drop and it's only a few feet wide but that's enough it's enough to create a pronounced path for fish to follow when they come out of the the main channel the deeper water there up into the shallows to feed and so what i've done is there i've anchored down right on top of that old creek channel and I'm going to drop my baits down right into it. That way any fish that are working their way along going from point A to point B, they're going to have to pass right through my baits. So I'm optimistic we're going to get on some fish today. It's spring. Our water temps are 60 degrees right now. So hopefully we're going to get on some fish today. Let's get these baits on here. Alright y'all, there's the first bait going down. That's a skipjack head. The bait I have today is a, a couple days old. It's a leftovers from my last trip that you saw in the previous video. I, on that trip I'd gotten a variety of baits but I went through my red horse sucker, I used the white bass, I used my shell cracker. So what I've got left is shad and skipjack. Now shad and skipjack are two of my favorite baits but on that particular trip they did not produce for me. It was the red horse sucker and the white bass that got it done. So uh, we'll see how it goes out here today. That's a gizzard shad head, a small one. Let's have it off this front rod here. You know, shad, the skipjack, like I said, they're two of my favorite baits. They produce large numbers of fish for me every year. So I got a ton of confidence in them, but seasonally you'll find that fish will just key in on certain baits and uh said so that last trip man they were all over that red horse sucker and they were all over the that white bass so uh it was a good trip got on a good fish i've been getting good fish pretty regularly lately that's a, another gizzard shad head we're just in that time of year like i said the water temp 60 degrees we're getting we're getting more active fish they're getting a lot more aggressive moving into the shallows here and uh, you can get your baits in front of them like I'm gonna be doing today here on this old creek channel you got a real good shot at hooking a good one well let's get this last bait on here this is gonna be a uh, skipjack body section this bait there just a body section I'm gonna take my kitchen shears here and trim that dorsal fin off. I don't, I don't like them dorsal fins on my bait. I feel like he interferes with the hook set. There you go. We'll get this one down here and we'll be fishing. It's just a few minutes now before sunrise and lately that's when the bite's been on from about the time the sun comes up for the first hour and a half, two hours. I've been getting a lot of fish. And then after about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, the bite has been dead lately. So if that happens again today, we're out here to the right time and we're ready for it. Right there got hit. And there it goes. 
Fish on. Oh, look at him go, buddy. Look at him go, man. That's gonna pull now. Yeah, buddy. First one of the morning here, y'all. This one ate that uh, skipjack body section. Man, he's gonna pull too. I'm right here. Like I said, I'm right here in that old creek channel that flowed out from back here. It's not a very big creek channel. I mean, it goes from like 30 feet down to 34 and then right back up. It's not very deep, it's not very wide, but it's enough. It's enough to create a path. And this fish was on that path to either go in or come out of this creek. We've hooked up with him here. See some bubbles coming up. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a look at him here soon. We should be close. It's gonna be a decent fish. Oh yeah. Good fish. That's a good one right there, man. Heck yeah. That's how you start the day, buddy. <laughs> Bring this old bad boy up in here now. He splashed the camera. No, we're good. He flipped some water up that way. I wasn't sure if we was gonna be seeing anything or not. Yeah, buddy. That's a good fish, man. Let's hold him up. Look at that. Nice fish, buddy. He's thick, man. He's been eating good down there. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. That's how you start the day. Let's get a quick length on him here and get that bait down and back down in the water. Oh, 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 oh. oh he's ornery. He's ornery, buddy. Y'all, you know, that fish right there is over 38 inches. He's about to flop on me, though. <laughs> All right. Let's let this fat beast go. He'll get even bigger down there because that's what I do on these big fish. Let him go, oh boy, he's on. Even then, he was still fighting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put another, that one ate a skipjack body section, so I'm gonna get another piece baited up. We'll drop it right back down, see if he's got some friends with him. All right, there's the next bait going down. It's gonna drop it straight down, that's on the Carolina rig. It's going down right under the kayak, and I'm gonna raise it up just a couple couple three feet off the bottom so when these fish move up, and up along this channel here it's gonna be right in their face this rod just stood straight up right there y'all you can see right there it's swimming let's go ahead and reel down on him there he is man there he is we got him he's on there that's on the gizzard shed. We had a long break without anything going on. But, oh goodness. <laughs> Boy, he's wound up, ain't he? It's just a dink, but it's action, man. We've had a long break without much going on. In a spot like this, you just kind of got to put your time into it. Got to wait on fish to get active and move up in here. Oh, there he is, a dink. But it's a bite, man. It broke the monotony anyway. It has gotten slow out here. I was pretty optimistic when that, that big blue come along first thing, but then I had that break there uh, before that fish. So I'm going to give a little more time out here, though, and just see if some fish get active and move up in here. Unfortunately, we got some bad weather coming today, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to stay out here much longer. It's uh, been pretty cloudy but the radar is looking kind of spotty around me so I'm gonna have to take off before it hits but I'm gonna try to get a few more if I can. All right there's the next bait. That's just a gizzard shad head and body section on the hook together. It's kind of down to the nitty-gritty here with my bait. That's just a small gizzard shad I got left. So it's gonna cut them up in pieces and put the whole thing on the hook. 
Oh, that one got hit right there now. And that rod tip just stood straight up. Let's watch it go down here in just a second. Watch that line swim. He's going with it, man. There he goes. He's hooked up. <laughs> I love seeing those rod tips go down, man. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. That's my favorite part of catfishing. <laughs> he's another one not very big, but he's got some fight in him, man. He's gonna pull. <laughs> he went back there and got my anchor rope. Dad gum. My skipjack head is destroyed, ain't it? <laughs> he did some laps around my anchor rope there, but we got him. Look at that. A little fun sized blue cat right there. Again, it's kind of been a kind of been a dud out here this morning. It's been a, a slow grind. I had that one early, waited a while, got another dink, waited a while, and now got this one. So fortunately the weather's kind of holding off here. The sun's actually peaked out, so I'm getting a little bit more time in than what I what I thought I was gonna get. <laughs> Let me throw him on the board here. I think he's probably going to go 32, 34 inches, something like that. Yeah, that fish right there, he'll, he'll touch 33 inches. Alright y'all, last look at him here. Let's let him go down there and get even bigger. And he's out of here. Alright. Well, I'm going to put me another bait. I'm going to untangle my line here from my anchor rope. And drop me another bait down there. I'm not going to stay out here too much longer, even if the weather is holding off for me. But uh, I am going to drop another bait down and just see if we can't get another one or two. All right, y'all, I think Lawnmower Man over here has got the right idea. I'm going to run home and try to knock out some yard work before these rain and storms move in today. But, you know, today's fishing trip, three fish in five hours, not exactly worth writing home about. But well, one blue I got this morning, first thing, was a good sized fish. And that's really what I was hoping to accomplish by setting up where I did here and kind of putting my baits in the path that fish will take up into this creek here was to hook into a quality fish. That was the goal. Uh, you know, I could have went out and done some drifting today. I could have maybe got up on a flat and caught better numbers and got, you know, a lot more fish. But what I was really hoping to do with this technique was to get quality fish. And I got one today and I'm pretty happy about that. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, I think I'm gonna go home and knock out some chores around the house before the weather turns bad. I, had, I checked radar earlier and there was some rain around me. I thought I was going to get run off early, but fortunately I was able to get in more time out here today than what I thought I was going to. But uh, unfortunately the, the fish just wasn't very cooperative with it. But anyway guys, I'm going to get out of here, but we'll do it again real soon. Thanks for watching.